Hi, I'm Dr. Joan Friedman. Welcome to Twin Tuesday. Today I'm going to respond to a question from a mom. She has three-year-old fraternal twin boys and they've been going to the same preschool in the same class for about six months. The preschool asked her in January when the boys turned three to put them in separate classes. She didn't give me any more information other than she said that one twin is a little bit more playful than the other. So perhaps the preschool wants to put the boys in different classes because they might just rile each other up in a way and the separation might do well for both of them. But this issue of whether or not to separate twins is a dilemma that comes up for parents in multiples all the time, if preschool and then from beyond when they get older. The way to look at it is, is that there's no one right answer. Everything has to be evaluated on a case by case basis. It doesn't matter if they're fraternal or identical, you really have to think about what's best for the family, what is the developmental differentiation, what is the connection of the twins, what's their connection like, and also what are the school policies in the district that the parents live in. I feel that it's very important, maybe for this mom, she can decide to keep the boys together the first year of preschool and then maybe separate them when they're four, or she can decide to keep them separate. It really just does depend on how, how she feels about their not being together. You know, it's important to evaluate the separation issue on a, on a continuous basis. Um, because when children are little, we don't really know that much about their personalities, their social skills, and their learning styles. But certainly, as they get older, we do. So, and when you make transitions, maybe from preschool to elementary school, elementary school to middle school, middle school to high school, you'll reevaluate maybe what your twins might need in order to give them the best environmental place for them to thrive. I think in terms of fraternals, it's important to recognize that usually their skill sets and personalities are pretty different. So if fraternals are in a class and they're continually compared and one is doing better than the other or is more sociable or more athletic, it's really wonderful to separate those fraternal twins and give each of them their own classroom, their own friends, their own environment where they're relieved a little bit of this constant comparison and competition. You know, with identical twins, is, of course, it's a bit different because their skill sets are usually pretty similar. However, as I discussed in my last video, um, identical twins have a harder time making friends, obviously because they have each other, and obviously because they'll usually share a friend or they're going to make friends with another set of twins in their classroom or in their school. So sometimes it might be more helpful when your identicals get older to think about separating them somewhat, to give them some sort of a space to develop their own separation and their own individuality. I think it's also interesting that maybe as you've had to homeschool your children during this pandemic, that maybe you've noticed or learned a lot of things about how your twins are different in terms of their learning styles. Is one more comp competitive? Does one sort of shut down? Is one relying more on the other? Is one have less frustration tolerance? Does one do a lot better than the other in many subjects. Whatever you've noticed, it's very good to have that information and share it when you go and make some major decision about separating or not, because you as parents are the ones that really know your children best of anyone, and you're the most capable of making whatever best decisions you feel you can do. So thank you, and I'll see you next Tuesday.